<laughs> That's why I don't ever have that job. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Just don't put me in charge of music anymore. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> we'll work it out. We'll work it out. So, hello, Sherry. <laughs> Katie and I are both, like, crazy women right now. I can't. We're ready to kill, like, anybody nearby. <laughs> so don't sorry. go near me right now. <laughs> I will drop kick anyone. <laughs> Oh, which is perfect for our very first ever Cool Tool Duel. Well, sort of. I mean, we did an App Smackdown. But this is better. The App Smackdown was just two, app da two apps together, wasn't it? Now we're doing oh, yeah, 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 yeah. back and forth. Back and forth. We've done something like that. Remember when we did the, um, all those, what was it? Uh, it wasn't flipped, but it was... Resources, content resources. Yes. Hey, Katie, I'm thinking that maybe we should like introduce ourselves and stuff. Okay. Okay. Do you, do you want to do Hello, that? everybody. Or? Yeah, I always do. I guess okay. I don't know. Okay. Go All ahead. right. Oh, um, hello, everybody. <laughs> we are the Lady Geeks. Um, you can find us on Twitter. If you check out at Lady Geeks, um, but especially if you search the hashtag Lady Geeks, you can find Sherry and I. You can find me on Twitter at Katie Regan88. Oh, hi, I'm Sherry Sloan, and you can find me on Twitter at Sherry Sloan. And as always, we are also at ladygeeks.org.us.info.net, but not dot. Um, and our guest geek of the week this week is Shannon Mersand. Is that how you say it, Mersand? Mersand, yes. Mersand. And I met Shannon. Did I meet you at that thing with Stacy? I think we we first met at the Nice Gate in Rochester. Oh, oh yes, yes. And then I met you again a few months later at another conference, and um, we got along really great because we both love Stacy, and he's a good friend of ours, and we bonded over Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> and he just tweeted us. <laughs> he did. <laughs> so, Shannon, introduce yourself and tell us like why you're hanging out with us tonight. Right. Well, I am Shannon Mersand. I'm a school media specialist currently in Westchester, New York. I've been all over New York, though. I have a creepy passion for technology, which has me known around my school as the go-to person for everything, even things I don't know about. Totally obsessed with technology and integrating it into the classroom. Um, in addition to Stacy, we also bonded over dumb phones. At oh yes, that's right. Yeah. Well, we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and I'm a librarian, so I deal with students on a daily basis and try to work with them on how to appropriately conduct research. Very cool. And we're going to talk a lot about research today. Of course, I skipped over all the other stuff we were supposed to say, didn't I, Kate? Oh, wow. Well, so let's give a shout-out, first of all, to Stitcher Radio. Thank you so much for hosting all of the many EdReach amazing podcasts. Um, and thank you also to Mix 106.7 Radio in Oneida, New York. Uh, they have us on every Thursday morning. And I already have next Thursday morning planned. It's a secret. Well, he knows, but you don't. Ooh. <laughs> And your turn, Katie. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I can say this in my own words. <laughs> Howdy, it's all in America. Burr. It's already Those are cold. your own words? <laughs> what are you, mental? <laughs> <laughs> it's also um, spring in New Zealand. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> you know what that means? that it is the fall season on Edreach, <laughs> and they're launching three new shows. We've got oh, the Lady Geeks, Two Guys, and Some iPads, um, Stop Distracting Me, and Subtext, and then Chalk Stars to Rock Stars, and I think Troy is doing that. Did you know that? No. I think I our very own Troy Stein. Really? I think so. All right. So, um, did I? Oh, there's also Chuckles. I haven't seen that one yet. Nope. A comic strip. 
Well, yeah, we'll go check it out. It looks interesting. Stay good. And um, stay. <laughs> check out Ed Reached at us for our channel and all of the others. You can find us under the new channel little drop down menu there. And you can find Google Cast and Mac Reach and all different great podcasts and great shows where you can learn just about anything about education. Um, also, you can subscribe woohoo, to us on iTunes. It's just fun. such an accomplishment. I feel yeah. kind of, I feel like I'm kind of a big deal now. You're not. Small person, big deal. <laughs> um, so, Katie, what, I wanted to say something. I forgot what it was, though. Of course. Oh, oh, links to our show. Um, I don't have last week's show notes up yet. Did you realize that? Um, it's been a crazy. I forgive you, and you want to know why I forgive you? Because I'm insanely crazy right now. Oh well, yeah, because you we're we're teaching the Common Core. I am. Yes, yes, we are. Yes, we are. I am for another week, but we're, we'll get to that next week. Yes. So um, you see under follow-up that I have something to talk about, and it's a Facebook scam. My parents yesterday said, did you know that Phil Boyd, and he's someone I grew up with, he, uh, he came into some money, and he wants to get it to us, and he, she starts talking about money. I'm like, Mom, what is going on? I look in her Facebook. What someone has done is they have created another Phil Boyd, taken his profile picture, put it in that profile picture, gone through the original Phil Boyd's um, friend list, and sent a friend request to each of them saying that something had happened to his Facebook account and could they refriend him. Then as they refriend him, he starts talking to them about money and getting money. So she thinks that she's talking to someone she's known for 50 years. Oh. I know, I was so scared. Like, I mean, luckily, my dad actually went to the bank and said, does this sound fishy to you? So, I mean, I'm glad they at least, you know, are a little more aware. But, you know, I think of some people who are just so unaware. And we have so many older people now using Facebook. And I just think that's scary. So if you have... You know, a grown parent like I do, and you know they're using Facebook. Just let them know about these scams, and and make sure they ask people. Oh, and then she goes, I just want to make sure that you are the person I've known all my life. What is my husband's name, and how did we meet? But all of that is in her Facebook. Her husband's name is in her Facebook, so he's yeah. responding with stuff that she thinks only this guy would know, but anybody who's her friend on Facebook would know. So it's definitely a little scary, so you know, be aware of this scam and, and watch out for your parents. Definitely. I, I, I hate when people do that to elderly people. That makes me really mad. Oh, anybody. I know, but I, I think that they've, they prey on older people, and I don't like that. Yeah. I apologize for all the um, clicking. Can you hear all that? No. Oh, my microphone's just really sensitive. Um... So I wanted to tell you, and I, I'm not quite done with it. <laughs> I've been working on this screencast. It's Right now it's 30 minutes long. And I'm hoping to get it down, um, but I'm chunking it. So, like, when I do a new step, I stop the video and I put in a little slide that says what's coming, or I do, like, a little review. Okay, this is just what, this is what just happened to you. <laughs> and I have some really cute um, thought bubbles. <laughs> it's so dorky. You're going to love it. This is basically a big old tease. Yeah. I do not and like to tease me, girl. Guess, what's, guess what is in this screencast? <laughs> <laughs> is it X-rated? <laughs> <laughs> no. I can't. S <laughs> no. Wait, no so four scripts three formulas that automate student data for the entire year. So you remember how we were talking about taking um, a form. It's like spreadsheet hell. It's dirty, deed, dirty data and sexy spreadsheets. Okay? They're sexy. So what I've, I've done, 
You're not listening. <laughs> I can I can multitask. No, no, you can't. So <laughs> what I what I wanted to do was to take a form and just quickly collect student data um, in class on time, participates in class, prepared for class, good attitude, blah blah blah. So I just um, radio buttons. I just click all the way down, and it gets sent to the form, and then that form um, take uses spider sheet formula. Form Ranger and Autocrat, and eventually, by the end of the script, that all the scripts that run, the parent will receive that report within five minutes. That's automatically. Great. So then I'm using formulas called Concatenate, my favorite. Um, VLOOKUP, which is kind of hard, and then the um, cell reference. <laughs> you lost me at spreadsheet. <laughs> I told you you weren't listening. <laughs> no, it's too many spreadsheets. It's too much numbers. You're too many spreadsheets. I don't like numbers. I like I like uh, food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hungry right now. I haven't eaten in a long time. Oh, all right. Are you done? Okay. So, okay. Shannon, I think we're going to start um, doing a little back and forth thing. So, you're going to keep yourself a little, little tally back there, and you're going to be the judge of just who had the cooler um, apps here. You ready, okay. Kate? Even though I, I reminded Kate today of, of one of these, but it's okay. Well, just an FYI, everybody. We came up with this concept <laughs> five minutes ago. <laughs> so. Shut up. It's a good concept. Okay. <laughs> Such a dork. Okay, so my first thing I want to show you deals with um, uh, a lot of times we send students to do research, and they want to research YouTube. And YouTube is a perfectly reasonable um, resource, especially if it's you know the PBS, you know good quality stuff to research, um, and if they can research it, they should there should be an easier way to take notes while watching a YouTube video. And so the first thing I want to show is an app called Video Notes. So I'm going to start my screen share. Oh, I got to find my screen. Oh, here it is. Okay, so um, on half the screen you watch the video, and on the other half of the screen you take notes. So, like right now, I'm watching this Ken Burns video. We're getting our children to education by anesthetizing them. And I think we should be doing the exact opposite. We shouldn't be putting them asleep. They have inside of themselves a system of education that is. So, what I like about this is so, as they're taking notes, and of course, they can pause it and take notes, but notice that I took a note at 31 seconds in. When I click up here, look where the video went to. Exactly where I was taking notes when I was taking notes. So when the student wants to return to that portion of the video, they can do so with ease. And this is synced with their Google Docs, so all of these notes are saved in their Google Docs. The only downfall so far, and maybe it's just something I can't figure out, is you can only look at these notes in Google Notes, or in, um, in Video Notes. It's video not.es, by the way, and there's links going to be to everything in our show notes once I get them up. But this is video notes with a dot .es. And so that's the only thing I really see that I don't like is that um, you can't get it off of Google Docs very easily. You have to go through here. But it could just be that I'm not doing it exactly correctly. But it also integrates with um, up here, it exports to Evernote. Uh, you can insert a snapshot of your screen in Evernote, so that way you have like a visual memory of what you watched. Obviously, you can save your notes. Um, and this also stores, obviously, any notes that you take with this. So if I were to go into here, you would see some of my previous sessions. Oh, it's a pop-up. Um, I have some previous sessions that would I would be able to access as well. And I can title them. And like I said, it goes directly into your Google Drive into a, a folder called Video Notes, and that's .es. That's pretty amazing. You've never seen I it? I give up. I give <gasps> up. Yeah! <laughs> that was the easiest contest I've ever judged. 
<laughs> all right. All right. I've known about this. I've been keeping it secret for a long time. I didn't want to tell you. That's why I've been looking forward to Shannon's episode so badly because I have this to show oh. off and another super cool thing. But, all right. Shannon, you're going to go crazy tonight. You ready? Go ahead, Rockstar. <laughs> so, I haven't used this at school because it was blocked at last year. But I'm hoping it won't be in the other schools. So, in Google Docs, because Sherry and I use Google Docs pretty much the only thing that we ever use. And underneath Tools is this Research button. And now I can search for content. In and right now I'm searching everything. But I can only search images. I can only I can search for quotes. I can look at the dictionary. Um, and I can use Google Scholar as well. But let's say I'm doing um, a multimedia project where I need pictures to illustrate what I'm talking about. If I drag this picture over, and it's already in create, um, public domain or Creative Commons or whatever, so I don't have to worry about it. What happens when I insert it, it gives it a little footnote. And if I scroll down to the bottom of my page, it has cited it for me. Then I can change the citation format. Sorry, I was wondering if you knew that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> because we use APA. Or no, we use MLA at school. But um, when you're doing scientific research, you want to use APA. Right, Shannon? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, and you can also drag those, whoops, um, insert those quotes. Let's see, what else? No, I already did that one. Uh, you do the photo, right? Yeah. Somewhere. And I can insert that citation if I want. I can go to it somehow. <laughs> There we go. I can go right to that article. There. So for those of us that are using Google Docs pretty much as the only tool, this is a great way to have your students research and to use citations footnotes effectively. Well, I mean, it's very cool, Katie, but I mean... It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Um, Car Carl said Ken Burns does not equal Ken Robinson. I know. I always make that stupid error. I hate that I do that. <laughs> I'm thinking it's Sir Ken Robinson. I know it's Sir Ken Robinson. I always say Ken We Robinson. love Sir Ken Robinson. Well, you know what I have Maybe to say? Maybe we should give him a little shout out. <laughs> Are we going to learn about this song, or what? what? Yeah, it's I Don't Care, and it's the clean lyrics. That's all I know about it. <laughs> you can't, you got to cite that. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know who it's by. Um, that, that first song that I was playing, did you, did you know that song, that ballerina girl? Do you know why I played no. that? Bye. This, my dear, this is Lionel Richie, and I'm playing oh. this in honor of Techlandia. Um, they had a, a Lionel Richie little montage there, and I thought that I would add in my favorite Lionel Richie song, which is Ballerina Girl. I love them. I pet Sammy said he was going to give me an autograph. Oh, yeah. I wanted one. Oh, and we're going to be on there. Oh, we did. Is it well, it's Saturday night. Wouldn't that be in our upcoming events, though? Let's wait. Let's talk oh, about that later. All right. So can I can I show them off my next thing? Yeah. I'm waiting with a bated breath. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, since you showed such a boring one, I'm going <laughs> to show one that you've actually seen before as well. <laughs> so um, this is, I've shown this on the show before, and it's called uh, Paper Raider. And it is a free grammar and spelling check, a free online proofreading. There's no downloads. You just click here where it says use it now for free. 
And in here, you insert your paper. Oh, damn, I should have gotten a practice paper. Ugh, hang on. Just search research paper online. <laughs> Gee, Just like the kids, the kids do. do. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Mom. <laughs> Where would I ever be without you? <laughs> I'm going to tweet out that you're plagiarizing one. <laughs> I, I, well, of course I can't find one, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to grab some text. Just, okay, here we go. All right, so I'm going to throw... That didn't work. Thing. Way to, way to do something. What? <laughs> I said do something, and you're just like, uh. yeah, I'm tweeting out that you're plagiarizing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Don't <laughs> you know, just let me copy text on the internet. I think it's a freaking PDF I can't copy. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> God, how the hell am I supposed to plagiarize it? Man, it's so hard these days. Okay, so, all right, so, uh, cell phones. I'm going to put in the cell phones in the classroom. I could put my work cited there and would definitely do some good stuff with that. I'm definitely not prepped because I'm a loser. Um, let's say I'm doing it for the 10th grade, and this is a research paper. We're going to do the fastest way. Oh, originality detection. Actually, we are going to do that because that's going to catch our um, plagiarism. Did it catch it? It will. If you wait a freaking second, <laughs> it's uh, you know it's kind of a big deal here. Okay, so here we go. They've checked my work. This, uh, looks like I've not plagiarized. I mean, just to let you all know. Let's see. Oh, plagiarism detection. No sign of plagiarism was found. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> well, I, I did, well, I did take it off the PDF, so I have a feeling that that might not be like searchable text on the Internet as easily. I don't know. I mean, I've definitely seen it work many times. But um, it will also help you look for grammar. There's no grammar errors. The red part there is spelling. I have a spelling error in red. Um, and I mean, it does other things too, but that's that, that's the basic awesome part of it is you can check for grammatical errors pretty easily, and it, it really does detect plagiarism. I've definitely seen that before. I don't know what the paid version is like, but the free version works perfectly fine. So that is Paper Raider. Okay. I know it's not a big wow factor for you, Katie, because you've been there, done well, that. I love Paper Raider, though. We, I use it all the time. Yes. So it's not wow for me, but it's like, yes, inside. Yes. <laughs> not wow on the outside, but yes <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> so, the door. I, I can't stop giggling. <laughs> okay. Well, why don't you show something off here? Yeah, you know, I don't know if you've seen this app. And I haven't used it in a long time, but it's, it's free. I think you and showed kind me of, a conference while somebody was speaking and we were dozing off. You were just like, hey, look at this. Are you sure it wasn't like a drawing? <laughs> <laughs> Katie likes to send me dirty drawings at conferences so that I will laugh out loud <laughs> um, during presentations. And we do it via a shared uh, whiteboard app. Whiteboard. She draws, um, um, well. We, we don't need to tell the world what... Well, it's, it's just, it's just, it wasn't. It wasn't a twin tower. It's just one tower. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Seriously? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right, I'm screen sharing my Facebook and all red. <laughs> okay. Um, this app is called Side by Side. And what I can do is. Um, you know the Better Snap tool on the Mac and how Windows 8, ha you can snap windows to the sides. iPad doesn't have that capability. So this app is the only one that I know of where you can have a notes page on one side and the internet on the other. So yeah, I like that. Is it free? Yeah, yeah, it's free. I can, oh, why go away? Okay. That's free? I want that. 
Um, I haven't tried watching. I think you showed it to me before, but I think I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Probably. It looks like I can watch a movie right in there. Oh no. Okay. Um. So if I go to. You sure you can't play that? I don't know, but listen. Um, give me a search topic. The Holocaust. Oh, I had to be serious. Okay. All right, let's just use Wikipedia, right, Shannon? <laughs> Absolutely, the most high-quality source you can find. <laughs> <laughs> so as I'm reading through Wikipedia and I'm learning about new things, I can take notes here on the right. Um, and then what I can do with them is email them or trash them. I can rename <coughs> them. Um, and I can change the color at the top. I can change the configuration of my window so I can have three notes page or the notes page at the bottom or no notes page or a blank notes. And I can also add pictures to it. And I, obviously it's only for iPad. You need the bigger screen. Yeah, it's, well, I don't know what it would look like on the mini. I wonder if it's web-based at all, too. Sometimes. Oh. I don't know, but um, so if you use Evernote, you can send um, this to your Evernote account. Ooh, it's got Dropbox support. Does it? I haven't played with it in a while. What What does the icon look like? Like a purple, Simon says? It looks like, yeah, you see it? Oh, that's not the one I have. There's a star in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah, that is it. Yeah, yeah. it's got it's got Dropbox support. Oh. Good to know. Wow. Don't you do your freaking research? God. Dude, dude. I told you I oh. haven't played with it in a while. So oh, there we go. Look at. Oh, imagine that. I can open that and explain everything in Dropbox and Evernote and Edmodo in <sighs> GoodReader. And there's another page. I can open it in Google Drive. Converter. It's very nice. I am curious if that video will play, though. Can you test that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <sighs> Any day now. Any day now. I can hear you say goodbye, my love. See, are you allowed to sing music and not play it? Because yes. I'm all up for that. <laughs> I'm sure our listeners are up for us singing as well. <laughs> I can do anything you can better do better. I can do anything better, better than you. No, you can't. Yeah. Yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. <sighs> okay, try a video. Are you I'm still fumbling it. around? Shut your mouth. Well, what are you, like 85 years old or something? Do, 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 do. Well, I guess I'll just read our Twitter stream while I'm waiting. Do, 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 do. I uh, can watch it and take notes at the I same time. I can't see any notes, my, my song choice. Oh, I can watch it <laughs> and take notes at the same time. I like that. This is my original song. You can't cite it. Oh, God, please. <laughs> Ah, you, you that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's muted. <laughs> All right, let you back on. <laughs> Are you done? Are you still muted? Are you messing with me? Don't mess with me. Such a jerk. Are you, am I muted? I can hear. Yeah, you're unmuted now. <laughs> oh, you're the one that muted me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Shan. How how was that round? Was that was that good? Are you taking that, notes? That was okay. I I took a few notes. Okay. <laughs> you're kind so, of high okay, right now. Because I saved. Well, I would say I saved the best for last, but I do really like my video notes one. This next one here. Um, I've been in contact with them. Gosh, for a couple months now, and um, they've been changing their interface a little bit. I don't know if I love the interface, but I love what this site is about, and it's called WikiBrains. And again, we'll have um, links to everything in our show notes. And let me screen share. 
So the idea behind Wikibrains is that when we research something, it makes us think of other things. So I'm going to go back to the boring or the sad topic of the Holocaust, but this is a really good one because there's so much information out there on it. So I'm going to type that into the search window. And by the way, I don't know all that this thing can do. I, I know it does way more than I know about, um, and I'm very excited to try it in the classroom. So notice how it gives me all of these terms on the screen, like this little bubble sort of format. Um, if I double click on one of these, let me, is it double click? Oh, of course it's not going to work. It worked at school, I just tested it. Anyway, it's like I said, it's a little clunky. I think it's in beta right now. But over here, things would come up that would make sense. Oh, I guess I'm not going to win this round because I can't show anything off. Can I interject with a similar tool? Yes, please do. Okay. Please I'm going to try my first screen share. Let's see how this goes. Yay. Drum roll. Air virgin here. <laughs> All the build up and it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My computer's being very slow. All right, here we go. Congratulations, Courtney. Uh-oh. Sorry, you drum rolling. <laughs> I'm going to show you... <clears throat> Instagrock, Instagrock. So I'm going to use your same topic of the Holocaust if my computer will unfreeze. Okay. And it's grokking. And it's similar to what the tool you were just trying to show in that it kind of shows a mind map of the search you're trying to do. At least it used to. Let's hope it still does that. Let's hope somebody's tool works. <laughs> yes, here's my mind map. So it's got pictures, it's got links to websites, and then it's got related terminology. So you can choose anything that you'd like to look at. You can change the reading difficulty level depending on your reading level. Great for Common Core. You can keep a journal of your research as you're going. So I can type my notes about the Holocaust. That is it's Insta Grok. Insta Grok. I can look at a gallery to see what other people have found when they search for the Holocaust, which is pretty cool. Now, how is this, okay, is this crowdsourced, or how is, how is this done? Like, can you add to it if you want to? Um, I haven't played with it enough to know, honestly. Okay, that's cool, though. I mean, it already looks pretty powerful as is. I know that you can create an account and save your different searches and um, add them together. So, What's now, it called? Instagrock. Uh, they're not on Twitter. They are. I tweeted them oh, last year sometime. Um, they definitely were on Twitter. Insta. G R O K. My computer's being slow, so I can't even get back to the website. <laughs> That's okay. That looks pretty awesome. I want to play with that. <laughs> Help myself, Instagram. Insta. What? Instagram, a new way to learn. There they are on Twitter. I found it. Beautiful. That's cool. This is um pretty awesome. This is I'm gonna pop some tags on I, I love this pocket. 
This is too amazing. I don't know if you saw my tweet there, Shannon, but uh, this is a this is a winner. Yay! Winner, winner, dinner. Now, how do I unshare my screen? <laughs> Press the screen share arrow again. Oh my God! Did, lady, did the lady geeks just get spanked by a librarian? Ah, <laughs> I would hope so. It, it's you know, we are talking research. This is pretty amazing. Yeah, that was a pretty cool tool. I was pretty excited by it. Right, it's not letting me cancel my screen share. Oh. Oh, that happens sometimes. You might have to drop out of the Hangout and come back. Come back. You do, to you're gonna... It's fine. <laughs> come back. I, I uh, turned my screen share on because this is, look at Ken Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's amazing. So Ken Robinson, let me see. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's adorable. Yes. Look at this. It's like <laughs> it's like quotes and oh, stuff. Can I as another piece of follow up, we were on TeacherCast Cast this, this week, right? Teacher Cast TV this week with Jeff. And I will say it again, as I always do, but I absolutely love that little Max Brody. And I love the way he and Edward say resources. It's so cute. <laughs> They're so... I just love those two. They're so cute. I just love those guys. I just love those guys. <laughs> God. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh golly gee. <laughs> So is, is that what you're talking about? Is Techlandia cast right now? Me? No, I was talking about Teacher talking about? Cast. Oh, Teacher Cast TV. That's right. Remember when we were on <laughs> I wasn't Do you remember Tuesday? Was it Tuesday? Katie, I was busy Instagramming. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I forgot to do another piece of follow-up. I was on the EdTech um, show on BAM Radio. So that's going to be coming now, I think. She said on Monday, and we we're talking about the same thing we we're talking about in EdTech chat, which is um, reluctant teachers integrate like they're reluctant to integrate technology, and how do we support them and motivate them? Didn't we just do that? <laughs> we do it every day, Cher. <laughs> uh, I'm just teasing. I okay. you. Are, are we are we moving on? You and I have been all over the place. I think I skipped the. No, I'll show the o Overdrive app, but I don't really. Wait, ha, I'm not real. I need my library card number. Didn't I tell you that before the show? Oh. So why don't I tell about it while? Yeah, you're let me just show it real here. quick. Um. So. Huh. No, I'll right. just share. I'll just screen share. Oh, are you good? Okay. You gonna talk or what? Yeah, I'm not gonna go get it. I'm gonna show. All right. Hold on. Let's go. I love Reflector app when it works. I'm going. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. All right. So this is called. This is the OverDrive app. It looks like. That um, blue app with the blue circle, o. that one right there. Okay, the blue, yeah, the white O. And let me try to go back to the beginning if I can. Nope. How do I stop this? Oh. Okay, so I it added my Onondaga County Public Library system, and now what I can do is get audiobooks and ebooks on my iPad for free through my library. So that's kind of cool. Um, so if students are doing research and they don't want to go to the library, I mean, I don't know how many titles they really have for ebooks e and audiobooks, but, you know, they're getting more and more and more every year, uh, especially in the bigger cities, I'm sure. And Onondaga is a pretty big area. Um, there's Metropolitan Syracuse right in the middle. So I'm sure I could find something, you know, about what I'm researching. 
and it's free app. Um, and you can only keep a book. I know out. libraries have to pay to put it. Two weeks. I don't know. No, it's three weeks. Huh? Three weeks. Three weeks. Yes. Three weeks. Yeah. But I mean, that's long enough to do a research project, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's the OverDrive app. You do need your library <laughs> card. But it's also long enough to um, to take out a book. I mean, they can they can actually read books too, not just. Well, research. yeah. That's like I said the ebook. There's the ebook, and then there's the audio book. Yes. So. So I am going to show a repeat as well. Uh, um, oh, again, I should say. Again, because I didn't show any repeats. <laughs> 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 uh, so I've shown Anna and Terry before, um, and I was communicating with them for a little while there as well about their app. Um, I like Anna and Terry, and it's this little bookmarklet up here. So if I am doing research, so let me. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm probably not showing the app anymore, am I? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta share my um, desktop to do this. Yes. Because you get to see my pop ups. I'm gonna pop up on. Okay, so just because we're here anyway and we're doing this. So I'm gonna go to a better source than Wikipedia. I'm going to the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. And up here, uh, there's a little bookmarklet for Annotary. And I'm going to click that. And with Anna Terry, it automatically records the, the title of the page. It automatically records the URL. I can type some notes here. Um, and then I can grab a highlighter. And I can highlight. Oops. I can. Oops. Oops. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> I can highlight my text. Hold on. This does work. <laughs> Although I haven't tried it today, which I probably should have. There we go. So I highlight some text. I can put a note about the text. No. I'm going to save the page. Oh, not in my hacktivism collection. I'm going to save it in my, I'll put it in social justice. And I'll save that page. And I can make those collections. I could have made a new collection just then. Uh, and now I'm going to go back over to my annotary. And go to my collections, which is here, my collections. And I'm going to go to my social justice unit. And in there, you will find the article that I just um, clipped. And here is the part that I highlighted. And if I click on it, it will bring me to the article with the highlights. And I think there's like a sticky note too. Uh, that's sharing. Maybe there's not a sticky note. I thought I thought there was like a, a note I could put on top of it or something. I think. So um, anyway, I mean it's a way to highlight directly onto um, a web page to keep those highlights. You can share the highlights with each other. So if you're doing a group project, oh, there's a sticky. I know there's sticky notes on here. Are you in the basement again? I am. A black I'm hole. In I'm in a black hole? Yeah, I have internet. Maybe somebody's on the internet. They shouldn't be. I'll have to kill them if they are. But can you see my sticky note? You can. So um, there's sticky notes as well that you can put on here so they can and it saves everything right on the interface so that is annotary I'm still crazy about it um, I, I'm not using it often enough yet but I haven't done a student research project since I've learned about it I will absolutely be encouraging my students to use this app I think it's really really good and that's awesome. awesome annotary is it my turn it is your turn Okay, I won't. I won't keep you. <laughs> she thinks because I'm pretty freaking tired, man. <laughs> that was cuss just then. This just. <laughs> All right. Here's my 
my other app. I, I did a lot of apps tonight. Yes, I'm usually sir. not the app person. I like to be the app person, but I'm usually not. I'm usually the Google person. But um, this is called MindMeister. There is an online, um, there's a website. Oh. But this is the app. This is the free version. I have not seen the app yet. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Are you going to do a little more with it? Yeah, I'm trying, dude. Oh, okay. So you can change the colors. And if I was to write a research paper and I'm not an outline, which I am an outline person in real life, but um, a lot of my kids aren't. So... Oops. And what it's kind of like inspiration when you hit enter it, it automatically it's like that lightning on inspiration or kid inspiration. Yeah. When you hit enter it automatically adds a new bubble. Now I know the mind meister that is um, web based, you can make them into links and stuff. Can you do that? Can you put photos? Can can you do anything besides these little bubbles? Oh yeah, you can add links. And well, notes and tasks. So let's click on that one. I can add a link to it. Oh, I probably need. Which one was that? This one? Sometimes my computer drives me nuts. Not a valid entry. See what that does. So put a number one on it. So I could do like order of operations or then like after I do my mind map, then I could order it by giving it a priority. So sub bubble would be subtopic number one. And then this one I could add um, priority number two. So I could go through and then order it after I get all my notes on here. Mm. So it's a it's kind of a cool it's I think it's better than Poplet in my opinion. Um, that's why I'm not showing Poplet, but I like this uh, non-linear way to organize notes and ideas. It's called Mind Meister, right? I like, I like that too. I am not a mind mapper, but I know there are people who are. So I mean, that's just not how my brain thinks. But um, I know some people really enjoy, um, you know, the bubbles and the relationships, and especially when they can move them around and, you know, like that. And yeah. Plan. Yeah, you can move things around. Kind of like having note cards. Um, and it's that pink icon right there. Yes. And that is my... Okay. Last demo. I'm yeah, so still around? I'm here. I can't put my face back up, but I'm here. <laughs> can Can you? Um, well, it's your turn anyway, and we've definitely talked about Evernote before. But can you tell us from a librarian standpoint why you love Evernote? Because I know that's your app of the week. My app of the week was Evernote because I can save my notes on my computer, on my iPad, on my cell phone, on my wherever I want to save things from. Um, I love that it's so flexible, you can use it anywhere. Uh, in addition, the Evernote suite has other tools that you can use, like Penultimate, which allows you to actually use handwriting on the, the, uh, the app. You can share by Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, email, or a link, whatever you, notes you've taken. So if you're in a meeting, or you're working on a group project, you can email your notes back and forth, which is pretty cool. Um, if you're a visual learner, you can change your font colors and sizes. Um, and I'm too tired to think anymore. <laughs> Where? What is, is there a toilet noise? flushing nearby? Huh? Sounds like a toilet flushing, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Shannon, weren't you going to show oh, uh, something else? I, I took off some of my apps because when I played with them earlier, they weren't working right. Um, 
But I can talk a little bit about databases. You talked about OverDrive before, that your public library lets you take out ebooks and audiobooks. <clears throat> your school libraries and also your public library have access to databases that are actually provided by New York State Library. Did you guys know that? Yeah, I did. Yes. And many of the databases actually have apps you can download on your devices, your phones, your iPads, and whatnot, which are really cool. Um, so your students can be walking around the library looking at books and looking up articles at the same time, which I thought was pretty neat. That is cool. I think I, didn't that just start happening, that database? Isn't it kind of recent? Um, New York State has been providing the Novell databases for at least 10 years. Isn't it, oh, isn't it that you just need any library card to use, or does anyone, oh, just be in New York State maybe? Is yep, anybody in New York State can right. use them. All you need is a, a non-driver's ID or a driver's license or a library card. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Cool. Um, and I thought you were going to show EasyBib, no? Oh, right. I forgot all about EasyBib. <laughs> You're right. Let me get back there. Easy bib. I, easy bib. I I just use Easy Bib, Shannon, with um with my students when um we were doing citations. And the only reason I wouldn't now is just because of the tool that Katie showed earlier, which was that um Google research tool. I mean it does the same thing right within your document. But it is I mean, if you don't if you're not in Google Docs, Easy Bib is a great alternative. That's true. Uh, one of the other features of EasyBib, in addition to just creating a citation, so I have a Wikipedia article open here about giraffes. I don't know why giraffes, but it was what popped into my head. And when I go to cite that using EasyBib as a student, if my computer will work, it will create the citation for me, but it will also Dun, dun, dun. Oh, now you're not going to work. Oh, it didn't work. It worked when I tried it before. I'm going to try it one more time. Okay. It tells me right here as a student, that's great, here's your citation, but next time you should probably try to use something a little bit better. Um, because you went to Wikipedia? Yep, because I used Wikipedia. It's trying to redirect me to a source that would be a better more qualified source, which is really pretty cool. I, that is new. They did not do that before. <laughs> yeah, it's about a year that they've been doing that. Um, and EasyBib also offers other tools like notes and outlines and a citation guide to give you more guided information as opposed to just creating the citation. But once it pulls up the citation, it will show you what it thinks the article title is, it highlights in red anything that it seems to be missing, so you can go find that as the researcher. And it pretty much fills in the information. The other option you have is to add an annotation. If you want to do an annotated bibliography as opposed to a research paper, you can do an, an annotation. And once you create the citation, it's right there for you. Wow. You can create a free account, which is really cool. And that's uh, only MLA, right? The free account? The free account, yes. The free account is only MLA. You can, schools can buy a subscription to it, which is surprisingly not very expensive. I just purchased it for my district this year. Um, and once you've created an account, you can start saving your bibliographies, and you can also share them with others, which is really cool. So if you have a joint project, you can invite others to add works to your bibliography. So, um, Shannon, I have a little surprise for you. You uh -oh. do. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ready? You do not want her surprises. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's a totally librarian geeky surprise. The iPad has an EasyBib app. I knew that. And it's pretty simple. You can search for, I just searched Tuesdays with Maury. And you can create that citation. And then I can scan books. Oh, these are my PJs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so sexy, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> they have kittens on them. <laughs> <laughs> and there's my face. <laughs> so 
I think I thought that was pretty cool that it can scan the book. Um, <laughs> whatever you call that <laughs> thing on the back. <laughs> the ISBN number. The the barcode. You can scan the barcode. On. Um, so I thought that was really cool. And then you can manage them. So yeah. And then you can email them to yourself. Yes. Okay, Shannon. Who is the winner? I don't know. You both had such great tools. Oh no, you're smiling at me. How can I make a decision? <laughs> The winner gets a big prize. What kind of prize? What kind of prize? The <laughs> winner gets to be the driver on the way to New York. Oh, I, I'm doing that anyway. <laughs> oh, well, so I I'm the winner! Yeah, <laughs> he always drives. I th you know what, to be quite honest, I think Shannon won that one. I really like that app that you showed us. That What was it again? Grok? In Instagrok. Instagrok. I loved that one. I just, I, because to me, that is passion based learning. You know, let me look at one thing and that leads me to something else and that leads me to something else. It's like this, this journey of learning that I want to do. I think, I thought it was great. Thanks. Yeah, definitely. That's my favorite. Sorry, Katie. So You're what's um, my prize? Hey, I worked really hard on this show. Um, your prize is that we're going to stop in and crash your party on the way to New York because you're on the way. That sounds great. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, so that leads us to um, upcoming oh. events. Katie, wait. We can oh. we can do our show from Shannon's or Stacy's house. That's we a great idea. It's still too far. I think we're going to have to stop before that. They're only four hours away. How far are you from us, Shannon? Um, about four hours, maybe four and a half. Yeah, Depends on who's we're not going to get there in time. By the time you leave Rochester, get to Syracuse. Anyway, we're we'll, we'll talk about this later. Time. But next, or uh, but well, next which leads us into our next segment. Yes, which leads us into our next segment. That the lady geeks sense. are going to Long Long Island. Long Island. Long Island. <laughs> Long Island. <laughs> Long Island. Long Island. Uh, we're gonna go there. and have some coffee. Coffee. So let's have some coffee talk. I can't have coffee talk. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris Cowder is our buddy, and we are going to yeah. hang out with Chris. And um, oh, and I get to meet Andrew Stillman. Oh no, I do not want to be there when that happens. You're gonna embarrass the shit out of yourself. <laughs> But honestly, I totally got it now because Andrew is a rock star. When you start playing with these scripts, you are going to kiss his ass as much as Katie does. <laughs> I don't do it to kiss his ass. I do it because he makes you me love so him. Happy. It's like he's the script god. It's great. Oh. I mean, already all my students are putting their bell work into a folder. Like I can see all their folder, all their bell work in one folder. It's all in the Google Doc. I can give it back to them easily. It's just so great. So cool. Yeah. He's he's pretty awesome. So anyway, the Google Summit is when? Oh, October fourth and fifth. She's so, the keeper. Yeah. Sherry and I are co presenting two sessions. One is on screencasting and editing in YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, and that came about because Sherry has Chromebooks and Chromebooks don't allow Java um, or any kind of download so there's no screencast software or screencast um, websites that you can use on a Chromebook so we'll be talking about that and then we are presenting um, Max's my favorite my second, I'd have to say second favorite developer he's just so cute <laughs> Oh, um, we'll be presenting on voice comments. I showed it to um, a SUNY teacher today, and she was in love with it. Wait, wait, it's not called voice comments anymore. Kaizena, K A I Z E N A dot com. And when you type in that website, www dot k a i z e n a dot com, it'll ask you to. Um, access the Google Drive and when you do that uh, you'll get a dashboard and um, if you watch the teacher cast TV from Tuesday you'll see the preview of what it all looks like and what you can do with it. You can 
do just so much more than you could four it's months ago, a month ago. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And, and, really and the kids can make their own voice comments and comments on other kids' docs, and you can see who did what and all the versions. I mean, it is phenomenal. So we're really excited. So, Katie, there's a new oh. iPhone coming. Oh. There's two new iPhones coming. Actually, technically, there are eight new iPhones coming. And... I, I think they needed to do this to up the ante a little bit. Well, they needed to have a less expensive iPhone, and that's the iPhone um, 5C. I'm actually a little interested in that iPhone, but there's only one thing that is a drawback for me, and that is the storage. It's only 32 gigs, and I am a trash collector. Yeah, you are. You know what? I, um... Yes, yeah, Stacy, it's at Hofstra. I... <clears throat> have a 16 gig. Oh, yes. <laughs> you you and your small storage devices. What do you want? A cookie? I love my phone. So I'm, I, I, I'm not leaning toward the 5S. Um, I, I really don't want fingertip anything. I, it's just... I do. I know because you use a passcode. I don't. Because I know that this, I know that as soon as my phone is out of my reach for 30 seconds, um, I can immediately put a passcode on it from any other device. So I don't lock mine, and I don't have anything that terribly private on mine. So oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you know a dirty I do. girl <laughs> in a dirty world. <laughs> Um, oh, and you know what I forgot? And I, I had prepped these windows, but then I completely forgot about them. So we're going to put them on the show notes. We have three projects, research projects, that our PLN on Twitter have been incredibly proud of and want to share with all of you. Um, one is from Carl, one of our good friends. Uh, one is from another social study. Oh, Bretzman, um, who we also talked to on Twitter. And then I just was tweeted from a, a woman named Katie Ann. I've just introduced to her from Sam, I think. Uh, so we've got three totally awesome research projects that you can check out. We will put those on the show notes. You are so lovely. <laughs> what was that? It was Lionel Richie. I need some, like, I like to move it, move it, and Jack Jams, and Rust, uh, Rusted Root, and... Six to nine, boys. I like to move it, move it. What are you like? Four years old? <laughs> it's from, it's from uh, Madagascar. Madagascar. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, the other event coming up is yeah, Saturday what? night. What? Saturday night. Oh, yes, Saturday night. We're going to be partying. Oh, We're going to be hanging God. out. I think that Techlandia will never be the same again. Yeah, I think... I think... Nude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to do with no pants on. <laughs> I think Allison is going to give us a run for our money, though. Like, I, okay, yeah. the boys talk, trash talk and whatever and say this and say that. Well, Kurt doesn't really say much, but, you know, John's like... Constantly stealing our stuff and putting us down and calling us crazy. So I think we need to team up with Allison. Cray -cray. She's outnumbered. Cray cray. Yeah. So I think we need to bring Allison to the dark side. We will officially have yes more um, t uh, more oh, estrogen in the room. Than yeah. Three females yeah. versus two males. Yeah. 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 That's going to be some fun. So, John, watch out. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. On um, Saturday night. Katie, we have no outro music. <laughs> That's okay. We'll add it We'll add it to the buffer later. Or the bumper. No, Shannon, no. we love you. MVD. Thank you I so much you for being here with us. Thanks and for having me. Yeah. Oh. Um, don't forget her. <laughs> the oh. last thing we have to say. 
A big reminder, PBS and EdReach are collecting education wins by going to www.whatsyoureduwin.com. Anyone can submit an eduwin, hashtag eduwin, to help us shape the conversation of education into a positive one. If you see an innovation, a story, a moment happen, be a citizen reporter and tell the world, submit an eduwin with the hashtag eduwin at what's what is your eduwin.com? And let's change the story of education. I love it. And every time we read those, you know what it reminds me of? <laughs> that we're reading a teleprompter? Jason, no, what's his name? Jason Seifert. What's his name? Geek, Geek Friday. Oh, Jason Seifert. I love the way he, I was just listening to the last one. He was like, he started to say something. He's like, you should have seen Faith's face. face. And she just... Uh, like, it did something to make it look like she was, like, bracing herself for his little, uh... <laughs> that show makes me laugh out loud all the time. I, I mean, I almost always listen to it while grocery shopping, and I almost always embarrass myself by laughing out loud, especially if you've been listening to it for a while, because they know each other well, they've got the rapport down, and it's just really funny. They, they just bring up old jokes, and I, I love that podcast. That I do, is, too. Geek Friday, they don't do a ton of, like, content, but no. as far as, like, geeks laughing about geeky things, like, what's the difference between a geek and a nerd and a dork? Uh, and they'll just talk about that for a little while, or superheroes versus something. I don't know, it's just funny. Would you rather have a submarine or an airplane? Oh, remember when they talked about how um, his wife wouldn't let him bring home a tank? <laughs> That one made me laugh. Uh, yeah. All so right. We're done. I'm done with you. <laughs> I could go on all night. I think I've had more fun talking gotcha. about research. <laughs> I've had more fun talking about research tonight than ever in my entire life. I told you it was awesome. I told you we would love having Shannon on to talk about student research. We did. All right. Good night, everybody. All right, Thank Shannon. October 4th will be crashing on your back door. Perfect. <laughs> Incoherent. <laughs> Incoherent. That's great. Good night. Good night. Good night.